Facebook サイト、Fear and Statist from National Cancer Center Tokyo Japan。At this year's DBW, I'll be discussing endoscopic therapy beyond the mucosa, challenges of the mucosal dissection. During my presentation, I will discuss how to perform EST, especially for collateral tumors, safely and effectively. These are devices we are using for collateral ESTs. Procedures were primarily performed using a bipolar needle knife and an insulating pit knife with shield insulation at the National Cancer Center Hospital. Short type ST fluid is useful for making counterfraction for the resected specimens combined with water gyroscope. Glycerol and mock-up are necessary for keeping good SM elevation. This fluid technique enables us to treat large collateral tumors, those have been treated by surgery in the past. However, such tumors have some risk of mucosal decomposition. This slide demonstrates the clinical benefit of ESTs. Before the introduction of EST, 20% of the mucosal cancer were treated by surgery because of the technical difficulty. In contrast, after the introduction of EST technique, only one circumferential EST was tre treated by surgery. As a result, our 10% large LSTs were diagnosed as SM deep cancers after the EST. However, this percentage seemed acceptable to avoid unnecessary surgery. Therefore, preoperative endoscopic diagnosis using magnification cone scope becomes more important to prevent unnecessary EST for invasive collateral cancers. Those have some risk of bleeding, metastasis, or incomplete resection. Furthermore, collateral tumors are biologically different from gastric or esophageal cancers because most collateral cancers are to be to be developed from adenoma carcinoma sequences. In this viewpoint, I talk about the indication for collateral ESTs and EFR. LST granular type can be treated by planned piecemeal resection. However, LST non-granular type should be resected M proper. At the end of my presentation, you should have good understanding of the indication for collateral ESTs and how to perform it safely and effectively.